This is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today we are going to bring to you the 10 best features of the Galaxy Note 8. And I have it connected up so you guys can see my screen as we go through the 10 best features. And make sure to check out all of our coverage because we have the most coverage on YouTube for the Galaxy Note 8. So let's get right into the 10 best features. And the first one is the infinity display. This display really is amazing. I always say you have to see it in person because it really is just astounding how good it looks in person and it really is amazing to see how clean and simple an OLED screen looks. And look, I know the new iPhone's gonna get it. I know other phones have had AMOLED screens, but Samsung always saves the best for theirs and it just shows every time. I compare every phone that comes out and the infinity display on this S8 and then on the Note is really amazing. But two of the other features that make it more amazing is the fact that one, it has HDR. Now that's under advanced features and it's at the very bottom under en video enhancer. So this is what you would turn on in order to have HDR and it shows on most of your content. It automatically enhances it so it looks better. And then if you actually have HDR content playing on it, it looks even 10 times better. So really good for that. Second thing is that even though it has an amazing display, you can actually control the resolution. Most phone manufacturers do not let you do this. But with this phone you can. You can actually have it to 1440p, which I've currently had it for my testing period and then 1080p is what I normally stay at and then you could even put it all the way down to 720 if you so choose to in order to save battery life. It really is depending on what you want being the highest quality with less battery life or lower quality screen with a lot of battery life. You can decide and this can make the difference between four hours on your phone. So that's really important. The second uh, real big feature actually comes from the Type-C connection. Now, most phones have Type-C connection, but not all of them have this ability. And that is the ability to actually have a TV out on your phone. So you can actually connect this directly to any TV or any monitor just with an adapter. Now there's lots of them. Samsung even sells one of their own, but they don't have a built-in charge capability. So while you're connected, you're actually draining your battery. That's why I don't recommend the Samsung official one. I recommend one like this, and I'll leave the link in the description down below. Now with this one, you can actually not only connect it to be able to use it, but you actually have the charging capability port as well. So you're able to charge it, connect it to HDMI, and even connect another USB device to it. So if you wanna connect a keyboard, a mouse, a printer, um, a gaming controller, a PS4 controllers work by default with all Androids. Uh, so really good for that purpose that it just works right away. So any USB flash drive, hard drive, whatever you wanna to connect to it, you have the ability to with this while you're charging and while you have it connected to a TV. That's such a great feature and it's one that I feel gets neglected a lot. Now for the next one is a really big one and that is the extras. And the extras really comes from wireless charging, water resistant, and expandable memory. But here's the thing, Samsung does the best wireless charging. So every other phone maker out there that has wireless charging this year from LG to Moto to Apple is going to put on theirs they all have regular wireless charging, which takes forever. The benefit is you're not gonna break your cables when you plug in, and it's much better for charging overnight so your phone uh, doesn't have a battery issues down the line. Now that being said, Samsung actually has fast wireless charging capability, which is much better because it doesn't have to take forever. This is really good if you wanna have a wireless charger in your office like I do, or in your living room where there's a lot of people. It's just a great place to where you're at during the day has a fast charging capability instead of just a regular wireless charging capability. That goes a long way and one that you definitely appreciate over time. With the water resistance, this is the only phone you can actually use in water. What do I mean by that? Well, there's lots of water resistant phones but your fingers don't work on the touchscreen when you're in water. 
However, this is a note, which means it has an S Pen. So not only can you go in water with your S Pen out, but the S Pen will still work on the screen even while you're underwater. So if you want to take an underwater Snapchat video or anything such as that, you can actually use your pen in water. So that's a really great feature. Again, a better feature than the normal water resistance. Finally, you have expandable memory, which just with it, yes, you can get up to two terabytes of storage. Most people are going to get 256 only uh, at maximum, but you have a built-in 64 and that's just, again, a great standout. Most phones are going towards that but it's just great to see that 64 gigs is a minimum of storage built in now. This next feature is actually a real big hidden one, to be honest. It's one that most people don't know about, but such a big feature and pretty much the only reason why you always want to have a Samsung account. And that is being able to share huge files up to two gigabytes now, whereas before, even on the S8, you can only do one gig. So what do I mean by this? I mean you can actually send a 2 gig video, 1080p or 4k video via text message and not lose any quality. And that's a feature that almost no other smartphone has, especially not an Android. So how do you do this? Well, you click whatever you want, right? This video I believe is like around uh, 500 megabytes. I hit share. And as soon as I do that, I can do this part, link sharing. Now this will only appear if you have a Samsung account, but if you do, you hit link sharing and you can send up to a two gigabyte file. And you can send this however you want. So you can just have a link. So you just have the link itself, or you can send it via Facebook, or you can send it via text message, or you can send it via Gmail. However you want to send it, you can send it in a Twitter link if you want. And this person or whoever you are, however many thousands of people you give a link to, can download it for 24 hours. That's a really great feature. And again, it's up to a two gig file without downgrading the quality. I think that's the thing that most people don't understand that you can actually send this big of a file, even enter in a comment if you want to it. Really great, simple and easy to do. And it makes your life a lot easier if you want to send big videos and a person doesn't have a Samsung or a person doesn't use Google stuff. If you just want to send it to an iPhone user, great. Still has the perfect quality. For this next feature, it's one that I honestly believe uh, to be true. And it's really just simple and easy. And that is the camera. The camera, I use, you know, the OnePlus, Google Pixel, uh, LG G6, all these different camera operating systems. The camera is by far the easiest with Samsung, I feel, for mainstream users. It's just really simple how you swipe up and down to go from the front-facing camera to the rear-facing camera. You swipe over to the left to go to all your different modes. I love Food Shot, you should check it out. And you swipe to the right to go to all of your different uh, filters. So if you want to go through all the different filters and stuff like that, you have that right there built into it. I really like the simplicity of it. I like the ability that with this, you can also do the 2x zoom now, of course. You have Bigsby Vision, which is okay, and the uh, little panda thing for all of your different masks that you want to do if you like the whole uh, Snapchat filter style thing. But really, that's all there is to it. It's very simple, very clean, very easy, and I feel that that's really good for most users. Now, you have advanced features like Pro Mode, as well as uh, being able to do tracking autofocus. That's what the AF means. Uh, so really a lot of stuff like that. So really great, simple, and easy to use. Now I can't do a 10 best features video without of course talking about the S Pen. There's a lot of things about the S Pen that I really like. And we went through a whole navigation through S Pen and all the S Pen features. So if you really want to go in depth, go ahead and check that video out. But plain and simple, here's a couple of things. One, the off-screen memo is really cool just because you can immediately take out your pen and start writing. You don't need to launch any app, you don't need to do anything. You have it just to be able to write down and it immediately has a pen and paper there for you basically. You also have the ability to highlight anything. So any text like on an instant messenger or on an app that you normally can't highlight, guess what? You can highlight it with the S Pen. And that's a really great feature to be able to do that no other phone can do because the S Pen really is more like a mouse than a stylus in a lot of ways. And that's one of my favorite features to do. 
Now you have all these other things like live message and all these other things that some people use, some people might not use. But I think those two are two features that come in handy on a day-to-day -day basis. And one of the reasons why I can't go without the S Pen for too long. One of the other big features is the fact that this phone has Bluetooth 5.0, so it's very future-proof in that sense, but it already has a really advanced feature that not many others do in Bluetooth, and that is the ability to actually do dual audio Bluetooth. What does this mean? It means you can actually pair it to two different Bluetooth headsets at the same time. So I can give this to my wife for her to listen to, and I can listen to this, and we can both watch a movie together on an airplane, or I can put it on two Bluetooth speakers, uh, one in my living room and one in the kitchen, be connected to both of them and have a surround sound. Doesn't matter what brand they are. One could be a JBL speaker and one could be a UE Boom. They'll both work together and that's awesome. The fact that it doesn't matter what brand you have from your old speaker, you can buy a new speaker and it works simultaneously. So that's a really great feature that again, Pretty much no other phone has right now at least. Now the next one is one that is under contention because a lot of people don't like the placement of the fingerprint scanner, but the fact that you do have a fingerprint scanner with even fingerprint gestures, so you can swipe down and swipe up to get your notifications, as well as of course the iris scanner. The iris scanner is really amazingly quick. It really is just nice and quick just to be able to Put your phone up to your face, unlock it right away. Most people, when they say, "Oh, you don't have a you don't have a lock screen," I'm like, "Oh yeah, I do." It just it went by like that. And they're like, "What?" I'm like, "Oh, here, let me do it again, so you can see it, and then you can see it's not opening for you, and it'll only open for me." It's really secure, almost impossible to trick, and most people like the idea that when you're sleeping, your irises don't pulsate the same way, so doing this won't unlock your phone. Um, another thing is, has to be the split screen capability. Now, many people might say like, oh, I don't use split screen. I use it on a day to day basis, I must say. And overall, I really like the ability to just do split screen and just have two apps right away, be able to do, you know, gallery and Twitter at the same time. So I can actually even, you know, just grab, oops. I can actually just grab a photo from right here and just drag it over and i don't know if i'll be able to do this i won't be able to do it while i'm all uh, doing this video uh doing this video but you can just drag it over and drop it so it's really simple and easy the ability to have multiple apps up at the same time and that of course also goes through from the new pairing feature that you have uh with this oops with the new pairing feature that you have with this which you can have two opens automatically open. So if I wanted to have YouTube and Facebook automatically, they open up right away, simple and easy. So I love that ability just to be able to immediately open up apps and have them together all the time. This also has a better split screen capability too, simply because of the fact with this uh, version, you actually have the ability to move it over to any kind of style, which not all Androids have that ability to, but you also have the ability to switch them and even make them smaller. So say if I wanted to watch a video and I wanted to make this smaller, I can actually watch a video the lenses, and just shrink it I down. Have, I've done, done everything. Done uh, everything uh, the last videos, the last video, basically, the, basically Note the Note 8. And just have this video playing while I do whatever else I want to do. So I can have this just be playing on the side. Seem zoomed in. So we can see the difference. And let me lower that volume. But then I can go right into going into another app and having multiple apps simultaneously. So it's really simple and easy and really great to use. And finally, the last feature are the really niche extras, but Again, almost no one else has these features and it really stands out for that purpose. First one is secure folder right up here. Now, what is secure folder? It is literally your second phone. Now, this can divide your personal life and your work life, or if you've seen some of my other past videos on the secure folder, you know this is really big for cheaters. So if you really wanna have 
completely separate photos, completely separate accounts, completely separate contacts on uh, one side of your phone that is not on your other side of your phone, or even different apps. You can have a app uh, of Facebook that everyone knows about and maybe a private one that only you and a significant other knows about, or a personal Facebook account and a work Facebook account. These are the capabilities that you have a secure folder. It's a really good feature for that purpose. You also have things like a download booster. So download booster is a really good one uh, that just allows you to actually download if you have unlimited LTE, you can actually download using your LTE and your Wi-Fi simultaneously. Really great feature, one that Samsung's had for a couple years now, but it's such a good feature that I always use. And finally, you have device maintenance. Now this is the other extra and the last big one that I would say makes an impact. Device maintenance just basically means you don't need to download a third party uh, you know, cleaner uh, ever. You don't need to download a memory management. You don't need to download anything such as that. Samsung has one built in, so you don't need to do anything else with it. Plus, you also have the option of getting security for internet if you do want it here. I don't recommend it. I don't think your phone needs it, but if you go to certain websites, if you do certain things and you think you do need it, well, then it's there for you if you wanted to. All right, guys, hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. This was our 10 best features for the Galaxy Note 8. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're going to find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.